voyage to the bottom of the sea, eleven days to zero. This is the sea view, the most extreme submarine of all the seven seas. Every age is not of an instrument of of marine research. It, in actuality, it's the mightiest weapon afloat, secretly assigned to the most dangerous missions against the ma- ma- enemies of mankind. In command, the sea view, Captain John Phillips, in overall charge of scientific products, the creator and builder of the fabulous ship, Admiral Hampson Nelson. Washington, sir, Pentagon's zip code 777. This is Seaview code 452. Chris, urgent meeting for the full council. Priority 1. Top secret. Confirm as soon as possible. Announcer. This is Seaview, top secret marine base. It's carved out of solid rock and is located on the southern California coast. The famed Nelson Institute of Marine Research. Few men know of its existence. A few men even suspect its purpose. Helicopter whirling, whirling overhead, a gunfire, sirens blurring, chires screeching, sun fire continues screaming, man, voyage to the bottom sea, dying Richard Ben of the Pace of Heart, David Henson, voyage to the bottom sea, major disasters, gentlemen, compared to the tragedy which is about to strike, exactly eleven times. A gigantic wall of water was smashed and destroyed across all regions, half the world. That is it, gentlemen. Unless we act at once, we face the greatest single disaster here to the earth. Gentlemen, all this has been verified by the world's foremost psychologist, Dr. Claude Shelby. Associate Dr. Fred Wilson. Dr. Shelby, no doubt of it, gentlemen. Exactly 11 days, two earthquakes will occur in the Antarctic. Now for the first... The first will be moderate, but the second following, in a matter of hours, in, 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 inundate Hawaii and go on to strike the west coast of America, smashing blow, uh, smashing a blow. In the other half of the world, they will, they will sleep down here, smash the British Australians, western Europe, go to demolish our own eastern coast. We've got 11 days, I say, activate all the threatened areas. Shall we? Oh, it's impossible. News is impending disaster reaches the public. If we t- touch off a worldwide panic, and even if we didn't, we avoided that excavation. We've been trying to move nearly a billion people. There'd be mass hysteria, epidemics, well, cell salvation. At least we'll be saving some lives. There's no other alternative, but there is general. We can adopt Admiral Wilson's plan, a plan which his committee must recommend for the President's immediate approval. And where is such approval? A proposal is to designate a nuclear device near the North Pole. Is that incident, incident of the second quake? It's too risky. The explosion could double the force of the tidal waves. Just the opposite, Doctor. The explosion was set up exposing lanes of force, breaking, following the back. Break, breaking the backs of the tidal waves before they form. Theoretically, the plan will work. Ah, oh, just one moment, Avril. If your theory of counterforce doesn't work, the tidal waves could drown millions. Mass activation would, would now at least give them a fighting chance. My plan will work. If you alarm the well now, it causes the death of hundreds of thousands of people. As a responsibility, you must presume, assume. Your plan seems to be based on some wishful thinking. Do you, do you think so, General? General, may I remind you that my way, on this way to meeting, Captain Phillips and four of my best men were shot down in cold blood by agents of enemy power, of which we were all too familiar. There was, that was their desperate attempt to stop Operation Counterforce. They don't think it was wish, don't, they don't think it was wishful thinking. I meant that your plan well, could work for you, evidently. Ah, uh, what do those hostile forces gain by stopping you? They want to see one such disaster and death. They want to see all the governments crippled because that this will bring them closer to their model goal, world domination. If they turn down his plan, you're playing directly in their hands. We're running out of time. We can't debate. We've got to act, gentlemen. Are you any, any further questions before we put the matter to vote? Very well, all those in favour of the animal's plan, I, I oppose, nay. The eyes have it. Operation Counterforce will be recommended by this committee, the President, immediately. Admiral, you should have his approval within the hour. Thank you. Immediately adjourned, Admiral. Well, I hope we did it, the right thing, cl- clattering indistinct. Admiral, a damn shame about Phillips, wasn't it? He's a good man, the rest. 
rest. I don't know what I'm going to do for a place that I do. I quested the name is best submarines officer for you. You know any, anything about a commander named Crane, Lee Crane, of course, a fine officer. He served me in an old, old neutralist. I had some dealings with him. His impression, my impression that he's an, a, a man, an imaginative by the book officer. I'm not sure that's your man. I'll take my chance with Crane. Well, you got him. Oh, I never know. A word of caution. Are you, they kill Phillips. They are really gunning for you. But they were really gunning for you. They still are. Be careful, my friend. Be careful. Chairman Tate. They killed Phillips, but they were really gunning for you. They still are. Be careful, my friend. Be careful. Gentlemen, the natural disaster which threatens our enemies has presented us with an unprecedented opportunity to exploit their foolish fortune. Sea view mission is a stalled disaster. At all costs, their mission must fail. Grunts. How did it hold it? Tension. Welcome aboard, Captain. Captain Ronald Train Crane on loan for the Navy. Gentlemen, think thank you for what you that will welcome. Well welcome? It was but it wasn't a warm enough. Your security should have stopped me before I came on board. Your security should have stopped me before I come on board. By now on this ship will be remain on full alert. Carry on, yes sir. Hey Currency, how's your door? Hm? I, I must have been wearing brass knuckles when he hit me. Where's where's he can you get that? The jazz? Get a jazz about my no security caught him, didn't we? Okay, cool. Let's see, stab the ground, stab the rub. Hey, chief, what's that poop pop on the new skit? Well, matter of fact, I did look up his service record. What did it say? He chuckles. He's an intercollegiate middleweight boxing champion. Well, no money, Deckly Wakowski. I still say he's using brass knuckles. Okay, cut out the subtle bent. But, we got, let's go back to work, all of you. Rose Raspberry. Glad to have you with us, Lee. Thank you, Admiral. Dr. Wilson, this is Chip Morton, our exec. I believe you know us, Skipper. Welcome aboard, Doctor. If there's anything I can do, hello, Crane. How, how soon can we get moving, Nelson? The moment we get our special cargo aboard, let's, well, Lee, tell them, tell them to get lead out. Yes, sir. I want a northwest outing, full speed, Mr. Morton, hurry. A detail impaired to get under way, way. Aye, aye, sir, knocking. Come in. Here's the rest of your gear, Captain. Thanks, I'll stir it myself. Aye, sir. That jaw still hurt? It's a little sore, sir. I'm sorry, I had to do that. You're just doing your job. Oh, you'll be okay, sir. Forgive me for asking, Captain, but did you ever serve under the Admiral before? Once at first. Do you serve any duty in the Navy? Why? Oh, nothing, sir. Is that well that everyone thinks this crew is pretty special? Do you know what I mean? My test of them implied criticism. Is that it? I wouldn't know that, sir. But everyone sure knows to, wants to see unit observation knows. Why didn't you say so, Edelson? Coordinates, gentlemen, are so... Six three plus twelve plus twelve. Foot says, Oh, come in, Lee. Oh, and three more, and that's it, gentlemen. Are you sent for me, Emerald? Yes, uh, I have a report here, but somewhat, uh, about somewhat, uh, orthodox where you came aboard. It's very much to the men, sir. Assistant security. You showed your ID to the guard in the gate. That's right, sir. A check of the gates was very far. But I consider the crew aboard of softened the security. Soften, Commander, elude the sentries. I actually got aboard. You didn't get very far, did you, sir? Did you, no, sir? I have to admit I didn't. You've got, I've got a lot to learn about your crew, Commander. They're not regular Navy, but they're not, not, a, but at the same time, you don't, don't think of them as, as some ragtag civilian outfit. It's highly skilled experts, every one of them, and they can function equally well in many fields. I understand. Is that understood? Yes, sir, I understand. Someone told me recently, you lack imagination. But that way you go aboard, I consider that report as exaggerated. Go speaker, command, advise from Nelson. This is navigation. Yes, go ahead. Well, I oh, know very well. We, you can open your steel orders now, Captain. They're in my safe. Come along to my cabin. Yes, sir. Any questions? No, sir. The orders are quite clear. To complete the mission and to re, to rear guard, see view, and have, have a crew as expendable. Chuckles. 
If you have a choice, though, Captain, assume your beings all back alive, chuckles. I saw a plane on coming back myself, sir. Coffee? Oh, no, thank you, sir. Ah, oh, with your permission, Admiral. I'd like to announce a mission to the crew. Sorry, the lad. The crew is to consider this a routine mission. Tell them, of course, and des- the des- uh, tell them, of course, the destination. And nothing else. Yes, I, sir. Confused? Me? This is completely. In the Navy, I always told my crew all the mission details. Once they were safe at sea, Lee, if the men discover even the slightest sense of calamity threatening their families, this sub will be flooding pressure cooker. Not knowing they go, they're, not knowing they're only what themselves to worry about. Yeah, they're good men. They won't crack. I understand, sir. There's some time, there's something else you should know. There's a certain powerful world war force which would welcome some very disaster we're trying to prevent. They seem to know our plans as soon as we do. They go, they go to any lengths to stop us. It sounds like wartime missions, sir. In sense, we are at war. We have no way of guessing who or where they strike. But one thing I can promise you, they will strike. From now on, we run submerged. Carry on. Aye, aye, sir. Take it down, Mr. Belton. Aye, aye, sir. Mr. McBrain. Prepare to dive on speaker. Aye, aye. Carry on the deck. Make it 50, 80, 90 feet. So, Mr. Bolton, 90 feet, sir. On speaker. Deck's clear very well. Claxon bearing. Up scope. Prepare to dive. Prepare to dive. So, you all me bladders tank vents. Stand by to blow tanks. Bladders tanks full. Close the vents. Flood bay is full dive on the planes. Full dive. Secure the air, all green, all green. Dive, all dive, all dive, green. Decks are washed, blur all is under stern, gone. Lift forward, trim from sea, trim from sea, secure plane. Go ahead two thirds, go ahead two thirds. Full trim, full trim, sir. Depth, nine, oh, feet and two thirds speed. All heads full, full speed, sir. In these waters? That's right, Mr. Felton. Well, oh, head full. Why, aye, aye, sir. Oh, head full. Oh, head full. Do you not, do you, how do you like that? Routine calls to no place. You want to kill us getting there. It's been bleeping. No audible dialogue. Now, this is the spot of your current of ours, Dr. Wilson. We'll take the readings on the ice while I take them here on board. We have an electrical nuclear device explode a split second following the second quake. The world weighs about a ton, Captain. Now your job is to bring our sub right under smack up, right smack up against the ice so that we can unload it. I have my job, the polar ice is tricky. We could stay in the side of the sub. Your ship's expendable. Not after that, after I've set you and that bomb on the ice. Not even then. There's still the matter of triangulation involving computers. As for the bomb unloading, it been appreciated. Floats like it handles. There's explosion. That's what? I don't know. Speak of depth charge at attack. Rig for step charges. Stay in, stay with it. I speak of rig for dip charges. Clats and blaring. Northern, data stations, battle stations, sonar. That's a range of the attack ship. No contact, ship contact, sir. But they're playing vertical dive to 1000. Hard right rudder. Morton. Vertical drive to 1000. Third right rudder. Depth 1000. Level off. Clats and blares. Hard left rudder. Hard left rudder. Maybe still in their pattern. Steady as she goes for explosion. A radar can't reach us now. Chief, yes, sir. Check damage control. Damage. Control, make report, on the speaker. Lights going on. Missile to be the firing systems are knocked out. I've got a repair party at work and on them already. Captain, what the devil's going on? You have to tell them something now, lad. Maybe it's as little as possible. There, this is the captain. The mission, we're on his top secret. Well, I can tell you at this time that there are forces who are already done the dummy to stop us. They do, well, haven't succeeded yet. And now to make sure they don't, see view is now on the war alert. Trouble, trouble, sir? Secure your battle stations. Lee, Sona. Have a problem? Let's keep getting into me- the re- readings. Bang, scraping. All stop, all stop. Sona completely dead. Scraping sound is like a cable dragging along the hull. What do you make of it? The deck charges must have weakened the solar mist. Mast, we must have lost it. 
There could that could end the mission. Find Wilson. I yes, sir. What's he doing to us? To I tell you the guards kicked his compass. Kick it off, Kolotsky. No, I've got to see this, Sarah. That's what he's doing. Yeah, well, I don't. Somebody's not shooting us. They're not kidding. They're, oh, you heard him. We're on the top of his secret mission. I don't recall volunteering. Oh, did you? It would be, it would be suicide attempt navigation under the ice without sonar. Six days to zero. Bernie's time for exhibition of order. There's no choice left. We'll blow it. Not yet. If the screaming sound was a mast tearing loose, it would be somewhere nearby. I don't see how that helps us. I can put a party of drivers out. If you can find the gear, we can arrange and repair the device damage within an hour. If it's a long shot, certainly, it's worth a risk. Right, sir. Three divers can be, do the job. I need two volunteers, too. I'll go with them. Oh, no, you're not. A skipper would be too valuable to risk. On a diving mission. As we fail, sir, nothing else is going to make much difference. Make you mean. Aye, aye, sir. Give me a hand with this. Captain, here's the best two drivers in the crew. Where's the second one? You're looking at right him, sir. Sorry, chief. I'm a fighting shape, sir. Don't judge his ability as he looks, sir. Lee, he's a fish, he's a fish under water. Look, okay, chief, shoot up. Looking for a fourth cut, gentlemen? Cut me in. There's no swimming pool out there, Doctor. Your experts will go on to this mission. Yes, exactly why I should go. I happen to be the best diver on board. Forgive me? Didn't realise that. We only left you, left you without you. All right, let's go. Right, up, up, up. That's right. The rest of you, on from the fight. Fine. All clear, all clear. All set on speaker, all set. I hear lock hissing. Hissing, all clear. Do you, how do you feel, lad? You're a sore loser. Do you, I do mean sore. It's hell's. Mission accomplished, gentlemen. Thanks, thanks. I told you the best diver on board. I knew it was the best diver on board. Here, get them off. This is everyone. Subject for repairs. Subject for repairs. How much ice overhead? Now, the same with regular. Ten to twenty feet. It's time it's hard as cement. You can't wear them through. I'll give you another five minutes on the setting. Captain, there couldn't be another ship in these waters, could there? Only another, only another sub. Why? I had a flash reading a few thousand yards astern. How I few think the sounds on our tail? Captain's not likely. Keep tracking it. If we don't keep an eye on an opening, we'll have to risk blasting out. Less than two hours to zero. We've got the surface. We can't use missiles until firing. So it's as repaired. How long is that likely to take? Well, it's hard to say. Been knocked out ever since the attack. Yeah, we've got to fix it any time now. You better, Captain. Under designed fast propellers bearing 090 short scale pinging. A sub. They won't give up easy, do they? Man the speaker. Single dead ahead. Range 1000 yards. Press instructions. Open fire at once. Commence firing. Fire, fire. Torpedoes whizzing overhead. Klaxon bearing. Battle stations crane. Left full rudder, left full rudder, battleships on speaker, battle stations, battle stations, on speaker, battle stations. Regular attack for attack. Hello, missile room. Can we turn fire? Negative. Torpedoes inoperable. If we can't shoot, well, we have to run for it. How do you outrun a torpedo dive? All dive, 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 speaker. Dive, all dive, full ahead, speed. Full ahead, speed ahead. This is a baby, Admiral. How much pressure can she take? 3400 on the drain or on the drawing board. Confirm depth. 2300 feet. Depth to repeat. 3200 feet. We can take more pressure than she can. We should blow. Be, be better. Oh, on speaker. It is still diving. Don't let them get away. Follow them down. Close them in for the kill. We are below 3000. We can't take any more depth. They must not escape. Destroy them. We can't go any deeper. Tell him his orders are clear. For long and down, check for damage, I sir. One tumble come on the speaker. Damage control, make a check, man. Still all green, Captain, very well. They're too close for comfort, spoil the old man, Captain. Clear patch of water, head, dead ahead. You still have a chance, Mr. Milton, take her up. All oh, heads full. All heads full, no matter, no fair report of our submarine. Must be a presumed lost. Uh, 
Where is Levy now? See room what? Don't have to stop. In the cases, Archie's on the surface. Where's our nearest drone base to see view present position? Of 410 miles south, by southwest side. Drone 4C. Activate 4C. Drones 4C. Operations confirm. Activate drone 4C. Resume attack. Man and speaker. Resume attack. Well, this is a hundred full time hour and twenty minutes before the first quake is due. Repeating in more this time today. Well done. Thank you, sir. I'll check the same as graph. It's twelve seconds in the first, to the first quake, Governor. Ten seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Crashing, claxon, bearing, unspeaker, damage control, damage control, damage control. Repeat, damage control, negative. Point one point zero point six. Confirm, it's confirmed, it's confirmed. Run those figures through the number for computer. I, sir. Sparks, pipe, pike, pipe in. I've been Dr. Wilson. Wilson speaker, Admiral, Admiral. Come in, Wilson, come in. We've got a perfect reading. Good work, Doctor. We're running those through the computer. And we have the exact time of the second quake in a minute. Got some blaring. Man on speaker. Battle stations, battle stations. Radio blinks at 700 low. Coming closely fast. Wilson, do you hear that? Take over. We're under attack. There's Cleef Oakcraft streaming overhead. Plane coming. Hit the deck direct. Hit on the target. On the speaker. Secure attack. Return drone to base. Secure attack. Wilson. So you view to Wilson. Still view to Wilson. Can you afraid? Admiral. Our plane's got under our radio screen. We haven't got, we had no, he had no, we had no approach warning. Wilson. Indication how close they came to a direct hit. None, sir. I ordered the radar to keep scanning for the plane. It may be back. If you get, if you got, if they got Wilson, they haven't got much to come back. They won't come, have, won't have to come back. Lee, it may be all over. Revenal. What are those orders now? What are the orders now? Stand fast. Wait. There's nothing else we can do. Groaning. My leg, I think it's broken. Admiral, I'll get in the weak signal of Nelson's wavelength. Wilson, pop it in. See you to Wilson. Wilson, read your Admiral. Are you right? Well, the device is undamaged. Now the circuit's buried under the fan of ice. My own lungs hit in the leg. I caught this fragment in the shoulder. Doctor, listen. The second quake is due exactly three hours and 44 minutes there. 44 minutes, yeah. I'm getting the timer now. Tick it, ticking. She's all set. Now you mean? Now you mean three, need three hours to get the sub up safely away from the burst. It means you've got to die in 44 minutes. Wait, wait. How long will you take, wait, take you to get back? Ticking continues. How long? Too long, Malone. Don't, can't move. I mean, my shoulder can't dig out the snowcat. It looks like we're stuck here. You look, you better get the sub out of here. So long, Abno. We got, we got, we have got it. If I can find them, then go and cover the snowcat. I still could bring them back in time. If you can dig it, and if you can't dig it out, then you got to, no choice, sir. Pull plug and scramble, wind whistling. 32 minutes go, Abno. So really, they get, Balloon back in time. Don't know, lad. The diving thirty two minutes. Whether they're back or not. Yeah, you mean, sir, that the captain went out there knowing that? He did, man and speaker. Directional defection gear reports the polar cap. You could rise to survive our attack. Impossible. We check the readings. They have been rechecked, sir. The device has definitely been triggered from detonation. We call the drone, we attacked again. And this time do not fail. We are on whistling. We found, we missed them. We did, got it. You didn't find them. But they make it, can't, we never make it. We'll try again. Wilson, this is a crane. Can you make, read me? Wilson, come in. Wilson, I can hardly hear you. Where are you, Wilson? I'm going to, to fire a flare. Tell me where you see it. Gabble, garbled. Can't read you. Say again, overhead. Overhead. Directly overhead. Sir Sparks has lost all radio contact. We have exactly four minutes, April. Stand by to dive. Are you all right? It's okay. Let's move over here. Come on. Red own groans. Watch his leg here. Help me clear this stuff. 
So damage control reports of missile firing systems were repaired. It didn't, that doesn't help much. Now does it, sir? It's five minutes past diving time. We dive, they're dead. I don't, everyone's dead. Take it down, Mr. Welton. Aye, sir. Prepare to dive. Sir, radio reports. End of my plane. Bearing 140. Very fast. Sound. Central quarters. B- battle stations. Battle stations. It must be the drone again. Blast out the sky before it hits us. Fire control. It's intercept on the speaker. Intercept missile locked on target. Fire. Missile one. Clear the deck. Prepare to dive. Delay that. They are. There they are. Prepare to clear the deck. And crash dive. I sir, prepare to dive. You shouldn't have waited to bring us back. You're 40, 40 minutes too close to the point of impact. A devil us could kill everyone on board. We have to make that choice, that, take that chance. I'm the speaker. This is the captain. In 15 seconds, we're going to catch the full force of two giant explosions. Now all hands brace yourselves. Five, four, three, two, one. That's in blowing. Noise ca- nose camera. You idiot. You're wrong. You've got, you never get out. How much water do we have running at 500? There is 500, 650 left from the keel. I bought them. Maybe too low to die. We've got to go all the head full. Take her down. 10 to 10, 1,000 bleeping. Stand by, stand by. Attention. Attention, please. Alarm. Wailing. Uh, Despite our new every effort, we also need submarine have accomplished our mission. A very good blunder has been made. We have underestimated ourselves and underestimated the power of our adversary. Alarm continues. We must never again repeat this as a mistake. Gentlemen, we can make port in two hours. All right, already? Ready? Already? Already? Well, I haven't had the chance yet to thank you properly for saving my precious hide. I figured that makes us even. Besides, I couldn't afford to lose the best diver aboard, could I? Well, he's got a point, chuckles. Well, let's see. I suppose you're anxious to turn to active duty in the Navy. I suppose so, sir. But now the sea view's job is finished. Sea view job is never finished. As long as there are uh, destructive forces in the world, as long as there's secrets of nature to be probed, there'll be work for us on missions, just as vital and dangerous as this one. Captain, radio message from the Naval Department. Oh, uh, thanks, Curly. Bad news, I don't know. You're telling me I'm out of the Navy, naturally. How else would, would you set, how else would you set the post permanent captain? Or the sea view, that is, if you want it. <laughs>